Okay, I think I have everything. We have cheese, dried beef, sausages, and crickets. I am not excited about the crickets, but I am excited that I found this by the lake and we don't have to eat it. Look at this giant snail. Well, we can go into the lake and find one of those. Also, there's a bunch of iguanas running around. We can eat one of those. I'm not excited about that. No, let's not eat an iguana. Time for Keto Camping Fear Factor episode four, right? Number four. Number four. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So it's time for Keto Camping Fear Factor number four. And I am really excited. It's pretty windy out, so I'm not sure what like our voices are going to sound well, like. Well, we have Eleanor over here blocking us a little bit. Thanks, the wind Eleanor. is coming from over there, so. So long as we stay close to each other, we can help block it out a little bit more. But it's gonna be harder to cuddle once we have cricket breath. Okay, here's the thing though. If this doesn't work, we're gonna have to order some more crickets and redo Do it this all again? whole one again. Oh no, I feel like this is gonna be a one and done for the crickets. Okay, so if you're new here, we have three other episodes of this. I'm gonna leave a link for that playlist right over Rachel's head because it's a lot of fun. We've gotten into camping and we thought, you know what, camping, Let's have some different products that are shelf stable yep. that you could eat in a zombie apocalypse. Or a camping trip. Or a camping trip. Okay, so here's what we have today. Are you ready? You wanna go show them everything at once? Yeah, let's okay. show them an overview first. Overview of one. Some of these actually came from subscribers. Thanks for sending them. We got a processed cheese. That I have never heard of. And we're gonna go over the nutrition on all this stuff. We have Hormel dried beef. Yep. There is an airport near here. We have Elmino Chorizo. I'm actually really excited about those. I have not yet figured out how these things are shelf stable, but they are. They're shelf stable. I'm you happy. You don't even find them in a refrigerated section. And then the piece de resistance. <laughs> Crickets. Eh, no, bugs. Three different flavors. I'm thinking we should do one flavor today and then do other flavors in future episodes of Keto Camping Fear Factor. <sighs> we're becoming a real fear factor now. Now we're adding bugs, just like the original TV show. If you've got bugs on the menu, you may be doing a Fear Factor episode. Okay, where are we starting? Um, let's start with the dried beef. Dried beef. This was a subscriber mail-in. Yes, it was, and we had seen dried beef in the store, but the one that we saw had sorbitol, so I didn't want to buy it. Okay, so the ing there is two and a half servings in here. Yeah, right. Well, I don't <laughs> I know. I could easily eat all that. I mean, I could totally eat all that. A but... serving size is eight slices, and again, stop with the half a serving companies. It's two or it's three. Right. It's not two and a half. Who's eating a half? People who care about calories. If you're gonna eat a half, then you're making this five servings. Yeah. Right. No, there's no half. It's two and a half. Okay. 70 calories per serving, 3.5 grams of fat. What is that, eight grams of protein. Eight grams. One total carbohydrate. Ingredients are beef, salt, sugar, sodium erythrobate, sodium nitrate, distributed by Hormel. So it's actually pretty good ingredients. Really? The sugar is part of like the yeah. curing process. Now, oh, you have to pop the top. What does it smell like? I don't think you want to smell this. Does it smell like beef? Oh. It smells like a cross between canned dog food Try that again. Plane, helicopter, Ugh. we're camping. Yeah. It smells oh. like a cross between canned dog food and canned fish. It smells very Vienna sausage-y to me. Uh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I was hoping for a pepperoni smell. Are we gonna eat, do you have to eat a whole serving? Yeah. You have to eat a whole serving, so eight slices? Is that eight slices as a serving? 
There's two slices. I like how they fan out like you're going to play cards with them. Okay, let's put these back in here. Ooh. It's much softer than a pepperoni. Isn't that funny? At least funny? I would say, you know, I know I'm complaining about the half serving. It's jiggly. It's easy at least to measure out a half serving because a half serving would be four, right? Meh. Meh. Oh. I'm going to eat it. I'm going in. I'm doing them all at once. Oh. Do them all at once. No. No. It's got a very... Oh, my God. At first, I was like, okay. It's, wow, is that salty. It's good and salty. I appreciate the salt. But it has got a Vienna sausage tinge to it. The only thing that makes it way better than Vienna sausage or potted meat, because potted meat tastes like Vienna oh, sausage, too. That's salt. I mean, I like salt, but... but it, it's not like Redmond salt. It tastes like table salt. But at least it's hard the the thing that makes vienna sausage unbearable is, is the, the mushiness texture. The, the texture, texture. so it tastes like vienna sausage but doesn't have the texture of vienna sausage okay but in a zombie apocalypse i would eat that die or eat i would eat that We're gonna eat instead it. of dying instead of dying but that's a very high standard <laughs> okay drop the crickets you gotta keep the crickets I feel like we should end with the crickets. What's up next? Chorizo. Chorizo. I usually like these. I've never had this brand before, so the brand could be gross. I gotta get the scissors. I like chorizo. Okay. You definitely need scissors. These are usually tough to get into. They may say that you can rip the package, but I usually have to either use a knife or scissors. Oh, I still didn't get it. The only thing about these is because they're like vacuum sealed, like this, the container's not resealable. No, you got to put them in a Ziploc bag. And they're oh. usually tied together. They're tied together. This is not appetizing looking. Look at that. Cut them in half. And they are like this very disturbing reddish orange color. And they're very, very fatty and oily, and you can see all of that oil yes. that's in there. So, what's in it? Oh, that's good. Good point. Let's do over the ingredients. So, one sausage. I'll give you that. You're gonna break it in half. Is 170 calories, and has 120 fat calories. The casing is not attractive. 13 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, three total carbohydrates it is everywhere all and over you the ingredients are pork maltodextrin salt paprika water citric acid sugars spices wine garlic wine. extractives of paprika sodium erythromate sodium nitrate and natural smoke flavor now i've seen some that don't have the sugars added into it so there's good ones and there's like not dink so it? good ones. Here we go. I noticed that on something that you know is gonna taste halfway decent, you have more than I do. I'm very excited about this one, except for like, look at how unattractive the casing is. It looks like paper. That's good. It's good though. But it's like, so loose. Uh, you know, the, the casing is so loose around it and they're not trying to make it a good mouthfeel as far as like grinding down what's inside of the casing. It's like very chunky. I like that though. I do too. It's chewy. Okay. Now, you definitely want to eat the casing because like you're going to get your collagen and stuff from that. You want that. Eat the paper that's wrapped around it. It's not paper. It's intestines. It tastes like paper though. But it's intestines. So that kind of does make it go along with keto camping fear factor because you're eating intestines. Ew. I don't want to think about that. But look how dirty. I mean, you really get your hands gross. Next up. Bega processed cheese. Are we going to be begaing for more? I don't know. Okay. There are six servings in this can. 110 calories per serving. Nine grams of fat, six grams of protein, less than one total carbohydrate. That's kind of impressive. It also says less than one gram of dietary fiber. I'm going to have to read the ingredients. You're going to have to read those ingredients. There's no chance you're reading that. 
So the ingredients are cheese. You stole my drink. Which is pasteurized milk, salt, culture, my microbial rennet. That's what's making the cheese. Then there's water, butter, which is made out of cream, water, and salt, emulsifies salt, acid, acidity regulators, E330 and E339, a preservative, which is E234, Nissan Max, 12.5 mg slash kg, min FDM 45%, max moisture 49%. It says, store in a clean, dry area below 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this is made in Australia, so I guess they label things a little bit differently. Their preservative really feels like a preservative because it's a it's, number. It's like red dye number 647. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, it actually oh. has the arrow from the top of it transferred over. In case you were wondering if this was like homemade and fresh. Okay. Where's our spoons? I've got the spoons okay. right here. I'm very, very interested in this. Me too. Honestly, other than preservatives, it's like not bad. It's really not bad. And I, ooh, ooh, it's like butter. I'm thinking it's like a dip, but no, it's like. Butter. It's a butter look too. It's very thick. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Dink it. How, we're actually gonna eat like a whole serving. Wow, not bad. It tastes okay. like very like Velveeta fake cheese, but it's been a long time since I've had that. I don't think it tastes like Velveeta fake cheese. Like an American you cheese slice. No, you know what it's gonna remind me of? I mean, you have to hold it. It doesn't, like, the spoon doesn't even do anything. It tastes like cheese whiz out of a can. But it's not that texture, and it's actually not as bad. No. I mean, like, American cheese isn't even cheese. It's a cheese product, right? Thank you to the subscriber who sent this to us, because this is actually I could enjoyable. See, I could see putting this on our burgers. Yeah. I need more. I like this one. I'm with you. Let me have a little bit more. That is good. That is really good. Bega processed cheese. I mean, we like cheese. I know not everybody eats cheese now. It's got a lot of like Arabian, like writing on it, but it's, and I don't know what that's saying, but it's I good. I, I actually like this. And again, we like to eat cheese. You know, now, now we have a camper that we have a big refrigerator, but, but this is nice. Like again, Zombie apocalypse, great store. Take it with you. Hurricane prep. Oh right? my gosh. Like if, you, if you're like us and you have hurricanes or tornadoes and you like to have a storage of you're, food, this is something awesome to have because again, you can't can. have cheese usually. Like we're not, when you're prepping for a hurricane, you're not prepping cheese. I was looking to see if there's a date on Don't here. Don't dump it out because we're going to eat the rest well, of that. Oh, no, look. Is that awesome? I'm afraid. I'm looking for, it doesn't have a date on like when it's goodbye. So I have it's a feeling good forever. it's good for a while. Let's see. Yeah, there's no, like, I can't see, I don't see any date. There's code. no date. Okay. We don't know how old it is, and we don't know how long it lasts, but it's good. Are you ready? Okay, I'm pleasantly happy. Maybe these will be pleasantly surprising also. I hope so. Because crickets. What flavor crickets are we going to dine on today, Joe? Okay, we have three flavor crickets. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Bacon and cheese. Bacon and cheese. Why don't we just eat bacon and cheese? Or sour cream and onion. Sour cream and onion. Okay, so which one are we gonna go with? I don't know. Are there is there any difference in like calories? No. Or carb count? Really? Which one do you want to go with? I want to go with salt and vinegar because I feel like that's gonna salt overtake and vinegar. overtake the taste of it. The ingredients in this are crickets. Stop saying that. Which is? Oh, it's got like the little scientific name what for is, critics. What is that name? Erecta domestica. So they're local. They're local. Eat local, guys. And then we have vinegar and salt. And that's it. Not recommended for people that have a shellfish allergy. I do not like the fact that they have a diagram of the cricket's body. I was just going to say that. So it tells you this is the rump, the flank, the wings, the breast. I know you like breast. And the drumsticks. But how tiny is a cricket breast? Hopefully really tiny. I am so afraid that I'm gonna get a squirt of goo. They're oh dry. wow. Oh wow. They're mummified. We're gonna eat a cricket mummy. Cover your face. Ugh. 
I want to cover my face. I want to cover my eyes and not look at them because this is a thing like frog legs. Thinking about it. I have scissors. Why am I using my Makes me not want to eat it. If it just, if you just serve me meat and it was ground up and I couldn't see it, I'd probably be okay with it. But it's because I'm looking at a cricket. I've never looked at an insect and I'm like, I want to put that in my mouth. Speaking of insects, I woke up this morning, I came out to get our chairs and almost sat down and there was a scorpion on my chair. Well, why didn't you dry it out and throw some Lily's chocolate over it and we could have eat that too. We should have done that. Okay, hold that. Ew. There you go. They're so big. Why are these such healthy crickets? I want really tiny, yucky little ones. Oh, there's wings. Oh, I have to eat a whole bunch. Oh, goody. It has a face. I don't oh, want to eat wait, it. Oh, no. Oh, this one's all spread out. Ew, it's got a face and eyeballs. And it's got like its legs stretched out. Are we going to eat it in pieces? I need to just eat that whole thing. Just go in. Dink. Dink. Oh, my gosh. Okay. They don't taste bad at all. They don't taste bad. Oh, my gosh. It's looking at them. Stop looking at them. Those are good. Those are really good. I can't stop looking at them. But stop looking at them. Stop looking at them. Taste. Oh, my gosh. They don't taste like anything. They taste like salt and vinegar. They taste like crunchy seasoning and really honestly, almost like you have a breadcrumb. Yeah. Right? It's like you have a breading of some sort. Yeah. Those are good. Stop looking at it. <coughs> uh, leg caught in my throat. I really would have wished that you had <laughs> waited until like swallowed. Okay. So a serving size of these is the whole container. It's 4.3 calories. 0.15 grams of fat. Very low calorie. 0.6 grams of protein. And 0.1 total carbs. So awesome. Great mm -hmm. nutrition. Great nutrition, great ingredients. The zombie apocalypse. I'm eat I some eat some grasshopper. I or will eat some crickets. I will absolutely eat it. I will eat the bugs in a zombie apocalypse. They don't they don't taste like anything except for their breading. Well, that's going to be this week's episode of Keto Camping Fear Factor. I have a bug in my teeth. Episode four. Now, if you guys like seeing these, we need more ideas of what we can eat. So let us know down in the Preferably comment section. Preferably things without a face. Let us know down in the comment section of different things that we could eat. Now, some of the things that you guys are suggesting are really awesome, but we can't find them in our local area. Like we have not been able to find like pickled pig's feet in a jar. I'm thankful for that. So if you come across something, if you're out shopping, maybe you're in an area like not near Do us. Do not suggest this. If there's anything that you see while you're in the store and you want us to try it, there is an address down below in the description and anything that you anything. send us we will absolutely eat here on keto camping fear factor so it anything. doesn't matter what it is it could be ants it could be roaches what it could be stop that it could be lizards N in a jar in a jar a be, can of lizards how about lizard jerky Oh dear God! So any so long, the only purchasable, rule is, the only not rule, homemade. It can be homemade. No. The only rule is it has to be able to be preserved. So like it can't require refrigeration. refrigeration. Now if you want to like require refrigeration once it's open, that's fine. But like if you have to be able to buy it on a shelf, that's the only rule. Please don't mail us something that you're supposed to keep in the refrigerator the whole time. Ugh. <laughs> but anything you send us. We will absolutely eat it on Keto Camping Fear Factor. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out the entire playlist that I'm going to leave right down here. I'm going to throw you right in that lake. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, Joe's heading this way, you subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we taste a bug, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.